Hello, my name is Rex Wynn. I'm an Iron Speed Designer MVP, and today I'm going to talk to you about using pass through attributes in an Iron Speed application to further customize the behavior of individual elements within your Iron Speed application. Um, to begin with, I have opened a default Iron Speed application, and we are going to go in and we're going to look at how. Uh, how we can use pass-through attributes in a very powerful way to change the behavior of our application. Um, so, um, as an example, let's just say that in this products view, I want to add another button. So I'm going to right-click, and I actually want to modify my HTML. I want to insert a column to the right. Now I've got a little column down here. I'm going to actually go ahead and go up to my controls menu and I'm going to pick a button that I want to put in there, but I actually want to use an image button. So I'm going to drag my image button down here and I'm going to drop that in. And now you'll see, he, oh boy, that doesn't look so great. I got a big old image button. That doesn't, that's not what I was after. Let's go ahead and select it. Let's go down here and let's give it its own name. Um, we will call it button plus. Let's go ahead and hit save. And now I want to go in and I actually want to customize this button. So I'm going to double click this. And <clears throat> here's our button plus. Uh, let's give it a tool tip text of this is my plus button. And we need a plus image icon. So let's go jump into our application folder. Let's jump into images. And here is our button bar plus image that I want to use. So I'm going to select copy. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. What I want is this full path here. I'm going to copy that, and then this is button bar add dot gif. So I'm going to come back into my application, and I'm going to paste this, and then I'm going to put b u t t o n. There we go. Now let's go ahead and click OK. Oh 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 oh! Oops oops. This is a relative path. So let me so let me go in and uh, customize this path because right now it's not relative. Um, let's go ahead and delete this junk out. And I think well here let me just uh, do this. There, that's a relative path. Button bar add dot gif. This is my plus button. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Now we have a button that we're used to seeing. I like that. That's what I'm after. <clears throat> and you'll think to yourself, well, that's nifty, but I really wanted to be able to have a hover state. I want to change the behavior of that button a little bit more. Well, cool. That's not a problem. Let's go over here to this attribute section and we can see that Iron Speed for us has already added some pass through attributes. It's given us an image URL, which is the default image for the button in the toolbar, and it's also set our tooltip for us. This is my plus button. So we want to give it a hover button. We want to change the behavior a little bit. How do we do this? What do we do? Well, we do it with pass-through attributes, and if you're new to this idea, you know what you want, you know another control in the application has it, you want it too, let's just go ahead and let's find that other control. Now, we can do this through the control tree. We can go find the control that we're after, and we can expand it out and go this route. Or, we can just click OK, and we'll exit this property page wizard, and we'll go to our delete button. Now the delete button was added by Iron Speed, and so Iron Speed gave it a bunch of attributes already for us. Let's go look at what Iron Speed's done for our delete button. Oh boy, lots and lots of stuff in here. Now, 
you can immediately see how with pass through attributes boy you can add a lot of behavior to just a simple button click um, we can specify some arguments that happen when the delete is clicked we can uh, have a delete confirmation message prompt the user um, w there's a lot of stuff we can manage here in the pass through attributes but for the purpose of this discussion let's just go ahead and give it some hover states that we were after let's take on mouse out and actually what I want to do how about we speed things along um, I've actually opened another application and I think sometimes this is one of the quickest ways to work in iron speed is to have two applications open when you're wanting to copy things around so I'm gonna take the on mouse out attribute and I'm gonna put it in uh, my button I'm gonna hit cancel let's go back into my simple add button and um, I'm just gonna insert it in I'm gonna put on mouse out and then we're gonna take the corresponding code now it happens to be that this application I'm, I'm using a plus button in this application so everything is lining up well I'm gonna copy that jump back in I'm gonna paste and then I'm gonna jump back over I'm gonna get my on mouse over I'm gonna add that in I'm gonna grab oop, grab that put that in and I'm gonna click OK and if we build and run this application we're gonna see that we now have hover states here is my plus button and now we have a hover state just that simply using pass through attributes we've changed the behavior of the button now let's jump back in to iron speed and let's look at the many things that we can do with pass through attributes now um, as I mentioned let's look at this delete button now when we delete in iron speed obviously we're deleting a row from a table we want to do some processing before and after that button is clicked and we want to have some user interaction to make sure that's what they want to do we can do all of that using pass through attributes within iron speed and the nifty thing is um, the pass through attributes will go ahead and change the behavior for us. So we can um, we can have arguments where um, delete on update. We can have a confirmation me confirmation message box. Uh, so we can add behavior in here, um, and not only that, but we can also um, let's say that iron speed isn't giving you all of the properties on this button control that you'd like to have and you know that they're there in visual studio um, you can come in here and in visual studio if a button um, maybe let's say it had background color and you know that that's an attribute and you'd like to set that but iron speed doesn't provide a way to do that you can actually type background color in here and then you can insert the value in the same way that you would within the visual studio IDE so let's go ahead and let's make our discussion a little bit more thorough I'm gonna cancel out of this dialogue so here we are in visual studio and what I've got is um, an image button on a default web form and this is something that I do quite a bit with iron speed um, let's just say that I do want to come in and I want to add more attributes to that iron speed image button assuming that I've got an apples to apples I want to make sure that in my iron speed application I do have um, an ASP image button selected um, I can go in and I can add some pass through attributes to further change the behavior of this button so back in iron speed any of these attributes here for this button I can add as pass through attributes to my iron speed um, button 
um, I can use this on client click attribute to add some custom JavaScript in there uh, the post back URL we can go ahead and we can change that um, let's go ahead and let's set a border color and let's make the border color red and so we've got that's our attribute color is red I'm actually going to do this and that easy that's how we can add pass through attributes into an application and these attributes can be applied to buttons, images, labels, uh, text elements, custom controls. It's any attribute that you can pull from Visual Studio. You can go ahead and add that into your Iron Speed application. And this is just a demonstration to show you how easy that is to do. I would certainly encourage you to use the knowledge base to learn more about pass through attributes, but that is a quick introduction for how to do it and we've added a plus button control and given it some hover states um, and that quickly uh, we've modified the behavior of our application using pass through attributes so if you have more questions on this topic feel free to email me or reach me on the message boards thank you